On March 31, Diana Zakar S., a 22-year-old from Natchitoches, Louisiana, arrived in Arizona to make a dream come true, visit the Grand Canyon. Diana's plane broke down and she could not leave. When she found out that her plane could not leave, she got frustrated. So her father felt it and father drove her to another city so she could take another plane and not miss her tour. He never imagined that it was the last time he would see his daughter. According to Diana's father, Diana contacted her family by phone Thursday, March 31st, from her hotel in Flagstaff. Her plan was to go to the Grand Canyon the next day. She took a tour on Friday and visited the places, all was perfect. At night, she took the shuttle back to Flagstaff. After her visit she updated her profile picture on Facebook in which she appears smiling at the Grand Canyon. On Friday night she communicated with the family from the hotel and said she had returned. She told them her plans to go hiking the next morning. Zakaras wanted to return to the Grand Canyon that Saturday. Her mother reminded her that she had to be on time at the airport that same date for her 5.30 p.m. flight from Flagstaff back to Louisiana. Anita, are you already on your way to the airport? Wrote her mother via text message on Saturday. Oh, I am not going, she replied without any explanation. At that moment, her parents thought that perhaps she had changed her plans and decided to stay a few more days. When they tried to call her to inquire about those new plans, they were not able to reach her. All calls went to voicemail. Parents thought that the battery of her phone had died. On Sunday, they were waiting for her message, and nothing. They called the park that same day to report the disappearance of their daughter to the authorities. The park rangers started an intense search and rescue operation by land and air on Wednesday, April 3, while her parents also searched. He rented a helicopter. We placed pictures of her around. We screamed her name all week long, her father says. According to a statement from the National Park Service, Zakaras arrived at the south rim of the Grand Canyon on a bus that dropped her off at Maswick Hotel, and she visited Yaki Point and Lookout Studio. Almost a month after her disappearance, there is no trace of Diana, but a new clue has been found by the parents at their home. Diana's mother was checking her notes and found a written itinerary in which she had planned to do a hike in the Bright Angel Trail on the second day of her trip and visit the Havasupai tribe although it is a new clue that could lead to her whereabouts, this new information also generates a lot of questions. The two places are not only far away from each other but they are administered by two completely different entities. The Bright Angel Trail is located at the south rim of the Grand Canyon, Ontario the other hand, Supai. The town of the Havasupai tribe is located in Havasu Canyon which is about 150 miles from the Grand Canyon village. The National Park Service has no jurisdiction in the territory as it is administered by the tribe. A permit is needed to enter the land and must be processed months in advance. After months of disappearance the body of Diana Zakaras was found Saturday in the Grand Canyon near Pima Point. The Grand Canyon sees about 12 to 15 deaths per year most from heat or other medical issues. <laughs>